guys, so I apologize for the wind on the mic. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so this is actually going to be kind of interesting because we got to do some repairs on this. So we are not at the trailer place anymore. We're at a truck stop. We had to get a couple of things to get this fixed up. So here is what we got. Ready? It's a horse trailer. It is a busted up horse trailer. Uh, we did uh, cover it with some plastic, but it's coming off. So this is kind of interesting because we had to bid just on pictures and it looked like it was in better shape from the pictures. Actually, this hole was open uh, in the pictures, So we were happy to see they closed it up a little bit for us to travel with. Whew. Hey guys. I'm sorry, I am freezing cold. We got down here to Iowa, and then uh, thought it was gonna be warm and toasty. It's like 30 degrees, but that's still better than, uh, hey Brian, still better than Michigan where it's 12 degrees right now. So I guess I shouldn't complain too badly. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do for fixing it. Eric had some ideas. Yes, we, oh, actually good idea. We do need some duct tape. We do have plastic wrap in the back of the truck. We got to wrap over it and we also have a ladder. But I just want to show you real quick what it looks like. This is a 1996 four horse trailer. Originally when we bid on it, we thought it was a three horse trailer. Four horse trailers um, obviously hold four horses and they're a little bit longer. Now here's the part that I was a little disappointed in. I thought this was a bigger living quarters. Oh gosh. Whew. Okay, so this is the inside damage. Yeah, living quarters. Okay, um, so horse trailers a lot of times are half camper, half horse trailer. Especially the uh, gooseneck kind. When can you move in? <laughs> I don't think you want to move into this. It might be a little chilly with that open window. So you see I'm shaky. Look at my camera shaking. If you're on 80, yeah, I am on 80 right now, Farmer Bob. I'm sure I went past all of you Iowa guys, man. Whew, I wish you could see my breath. All right, so what we're planning to do is just gut this whole thing um so we're gonna strip all the walls off hey go doggo hey bryson i don't want to go to south dakota right now i'm sure it's even colder put some windex on it <laughs> um so we'll probably have to rip this carpet off because it looks like it's got some water damage over there um there must be sorry i'm shaking really bad because i'm cold uh water damage up there eric had thoughts on putting um fiberglass on the roof like a boat and um, he had some thoughts on getting rid of the aluminum look on the side and just um, suit what's it called uh, I can't think of it sorry just painting it head to can it might be warmer <laughs> all right so we have a chair there now I thought a lot of living quarters like they have a back area where there's like a little dinette a little kitchen or toilets and this is what we got instead you can see this it's like a little closet hey there you are it's just, it's just like a little closet I don't even get that so I was kind of disappointed with that electrometric roof coating on the roof hey Jason hey you can uh, hash that out with Eric but he's driving right now so just wait to call him till tonight but it came with a TV and a sink, which I guess is okay. A new sugar shack. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the kids will be in here. Oh, look, there's a DVD player. That's nice. Hope you can repurpose it or give it to someone who can. Of course, I hope. Yeah, so here's the thought. You guys think we should fix this up and keep it? Should we fix it up and sell it? Or should we just try and sell it as is and just kind of clean it up a tiny bit? Yeah, I know. I was really hoping it had a toilet. So let me show you the back end here. So, and this is the worst damage side right there. Um, the other thing we have to do, what did we pay for it? Um, it was $5,100 out the door with taxes and fees. I bet it's, uh, I think, $4,600. So our biggest issue is right here. We've got like five inches of clearance from the ground. So we're going to have to flip the axles. Wait, where's my other door to get in here? I got a door right here. 
So we have to flip the axles and then that will raise up the trailer. We've actually, no, that's not opening. All right, that one's not working. With horse trailers and big lifted trucks, a lot of times they just don't like each other. So you actually have to raise up your trailer as well. You see it's on a pretty good slant. And they didn't clean it out, so this is kind of a mess. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Um, these are the horse dividers right here. So you can fit four horsey butts in here. And then this is supposed to be the uh, sweet deal. I don't know if it's exactly a sweet deal. I mean, I guess, you know, if we can go through and re fix it up, it might be. Depends on the selling price, if it would be worth it to fix it. Yeah. It doesn't even have saddle racks, which I was really bummed about too. See, there should be saddle racks right here. Leaf blower. <laughs> Maybe build a bathroom in the front stall. Yeah, well, see, that's what all of that uh, stuff there is for. You just uh, have a bucket with a hole in the bottom. <laughs> so I'll show you the other side real quick here. Let's see if I can get the shot. There's my... Okay, that's good. So this side looks good. Um, it does have heat and air conditioning. No idea if they work. So what Eric's thought was to paint all of this silver gray to match the truck. Oh, and he was going to bondo the other side to make it nice and smooth. A toilet in the closet. I would agree. You know, I wonder how hard that would be. That would be kind of cool to do. That closet is pretty much worthless, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so Eric thought that maybe he could pound the metal out, straighten it, and then bondo over it to make it nice and smooth, and then repaint that whole front half silver to match the truck. So, I don't know. It does have an electric winch. What? This guy's trying to back his trailer in. Oh, okay. And they don't, we don't have a, the right hitch. How much is a new one? All right, hold on, I gotta get in the truck. We gotta go. Um, shoot. A new horse trailer is gonna be like 50 grand. No. Ma okay, 30 grand. 30 grand for a four horse trailer. Um, you have a one horse and a two horse straight load. Put a hospital commode in the chair. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, it's better than a horse stall, I guess, at home. Suzanne's got to um, learn how to weld, I guess. <laughs> so, when we bought this, it didn't have the right kind of plug for the trailer hookup. So, we have to get a new plug. And we were hoping the truck stop would sell it, but they don't. Nope. So, we have to go to Walmart. So, we're going to Walmart. It's an adventure. Oh, yeah, and there's like a snowstorm that's following behind us, too. So... Eric's a little nervous about that. Yeah. Because our these this, these are the bad tires. These aren't even the new tires because our lugs weren't in yet. Yep. Okay, this is freaking me out seeing somebody's back up. Ugh. He's only ran over a curb like three times, so. <laughs> um, so we're using our bad tires, the ones that are bald. Not completely bald. Well, they're not totally bald, but it's like, I almost got not stuck. not totally good either. Oh, I should have videotaped trying to pull it out of the barn because I literally got stuck right in front of the barn because it's all just mud right there. And the tires just like were spinning. Which actually, let me show you here. Hold on. Oh yeah, see? You can see all the mud that's on the inside here. That was uh, <laughs> probably trying to get out of the muddy area of the barn. I had, I guess I had the windows down so I could see better. Left on Ooh. Iowa Speedway Drive. Okay, so how far is Walmart? Mile and a half. I guess that's not too bad. Um, I don't know what else was I gonna say. Do you have any other questions, quick, before we hit Walmart? So anyway, um, swing wide, stay wide. Quote from a CDL. Yes, yeah, swing wide. Is it a flat sheet of metal riveted on? Riveted on. It does look like it's. We're trying to figure out if it's aluminum riveted on or if it's stainless steel. Wow, look at this. That's gonna be. Ooh, look at this, guys. Oh my god. No brown, though. Cool. 
what's for lunch, Jason? I don't know. Wow. This is what Eric's freaking out over. He likes looking at, uh, is this cornfields or hay fields? I don't know this what this is. This is what I would say Iowa was. Yeah, my son is passed out sleeping, so he's gonna must wake butters up. Look at those crazy nipples. Rachel, is that you? Butters. Whiteout, 1962. Who are you? How'd you know that was Butters? Whiteout, 1962. This is taking us to Walmart, dude. Like Juliet. She's a little freak. Turn left on <laughs> Well, um, that one says pavement ends, so I'm... Eric's lost. <laughs> I was just following the GPS to Walmart. Uh, okay. Alright, guys, um... So I'm gonna have to let you go so that I can uh, navigate Eric on my phone because the GPS, yeah, that's probably old Walmart. That's, that's, we're using a GPS from like 10 years ago. I don't know, it still works, so. You can buy stainless steel, yeah, we, we're looking at stainless steel. In a video way back with all the kids in a camper, you called him Butters. Oh, good call, yeah. We haven't called him Butters in a long time. Although I do, I do call him Muffin Fluff, which is probably worse. <laughs> See you guys later. Um, I'll probably do another video walking through a little bit more plans on the trailer. But uh, feel free to post your comments on what you think we should do with the trailer. Take care and have a great weekend. Oh, and Sunday, we'll be cooking maple syrup live. Walmart. There'll be lots of maple syrup at this point coming out of that stupid machine because it is chock full of maple syrup. So buy a Chevy. They're not as cool looking as a Ford. Come on. All right. Bye, guys.